that we are coming into this business with all amount of commitment, all amount of seriousness, and all amount of belief that the battle has already been won. Yeah. Why did we happily accepted to work for you? We happily accepted to work for you because one, River State is in a terrible state. River State is on a wheelchair. And they are looking for oxygen exactly. to give to a dying state. And we know that you are the most qualified doctor. The, the best sojourn that will dissect the problems of River State, get out the worrying diseases, and then do a super stitching that will give River State a new health, a new strength, a new beginning, a new hope for the children. Your Excellency, we know that you are made for this job. There are many persons out there. Some even have so much money to dash. But our people believe that eating today, today and forgetting tomorrow will be a disastrous mistake for all of us. And that, like every other end of there is always a planting time. If you eat up your seed on planting time, then when the harvest time comes, you know you have nothing to eat. Our people have agreed that this is a planting time and are going to make every sacrifice to plant well, to work well and plant the best seed they have. So that when the harvest time will come, when you will be sworn in on the 29th May 2023, that they will dress well like princes and princesses, like kings and queens, with their cutlery in gold color, and they will come to dine with you on the same table. That is why this is a moment for them. This is a moment that making you a promise. This is a moment that telling you that they're going to work. This is a moment that's going to prove to you that they're not just here for the sake of being here. That they're here to go and prove to you and the entire River State and the country as a whole that River State will know what is good for them. And at this moment, they know that you're the person that will prove to the entire country that rivers will can be gentle and they can be firm at the same time. Christ described a wise person. Be as gentle as you do, but as smart or intelligent as a serpent. You know, these two things are very quiet in the attitude. They are not loud sounding. They don't turn down. Yet, Christ chose those creatures to demonstrate a man who is imbued with eternal divine wisdom. And I have watched you. You are one man that when you speak, you speak wisdom. When you put your feet, you put them wisely. And when you take decisions, your decision multiplies. And whatever you do, I believe that God in heaven has personally chosen you to fight for you. I want to use this moment to call on all reverse people. Whichever party you belong to, whichever party you belong to, 
a moment has come for all of us to put our hand together to rescue and restore what our forefather worked for and left for us to inherit. Oh, yeah.